Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for another Inspired Saturdays collaboration. I hope you'll stick around, see who I was inspired by this week, and find out how you can go see how I inspired her. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to my Inspired Saturday series, I'll tell you a little bit about it before we get started. I always find so much inspiration online and I am inspired by other creators. So I team up with another crafty YouTuber almost every Saturday and we take inspiration from the other creator. Today I'm going to be taking inspiration from Natasha of Handmade by Tasha D here on YouTube. Her YouTube channel and her Instagram account are linked below and make sure that once you're done watching my video today that you go see what she created that was inspired by me. That link is at the very top of the description box below. I'll be taking inspiration from this card you see on screen now. I didn't see a video for it here on YouTube but I will link the Instagram post in the description box below so you can go get more information about it. I really like that clean, simple floral image on the card and how she has part of it kind of cut out like a frame. For my card today, I will be using a floral image as well. I chose a stamp set from the Gina K Designs Nature's Touch card kit. My plan is to use this image right here along with one of the sentiments from the set. Now speaking of the Gina K Designs card kit, I currently have a No Spend November challenge going on where you can win the latest card kit, Sparkle and Shine, which is sold out. I will link that introduction video below so you can find out how to play along and be entered to win. For my papers, I got out just a scrap of gold cardstock from my stash and a piece of the Tranquil Teal cardstock from the card kit. I got out my Hero Arts Infinity dies to create that cutout frame look, and I will be using Versamark and Detail Gold Embossing Powder for my stamped image. If I do add anything else along the way as I start the process, I will be sure to let you know, but if I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I started on today's card by doing the cutting. The first piece was a piece of white cardstock that I cut to three and three quarters inches tall by five inches wide. Then I brought in that piece of tranquil teal and cut it to four and a quarter inches wide for a top fold card base. And finally, I brought in the gold cardstock and cut it to the same size as the white cardstock, which again was three and three quarters by five inches. Next, I brought in my Misty to stamp my focal point. Because I did want the bottom and the right edge to hang off the piece of cardstock, I did have to move that cardstock up a little bit on my Misty instead of keeping it in that lower right corner like I like to. Once I had that stamp in place, I picked it up with the door of my Misty and I made sure to use my embossing buddy on the cardstock. So once I stamp the image and place the embossing powder onto it, the powder will only stick to where I want it to. Once that was all done, I brought in my heat tool and heat set that powder. Now I'm going to be using my Hero Arts Rectangle Infinity dies to die cut the frame out of that focal point. I started by placing the largest die down onto the front of my cardstock and I hold that in place while I die cut it with a couple pieces of scotch blue removable tape. This holds this down nicely while it goes through the die cutter and when I pull it off later it does not hurt the embossing or the cardstock in any way. 
Once that cut was made, I used those same two pieces of tape to center the smaller rectangle on what was left of the inside of my stamped piece. You'll see there when I put them together, I'll have a little opening. To avoid tearing the frame with my regular ATG adhesive, I brought in my art glitter glue to adhere the frame and the centerpiece of the stamped image to the gold cardstock. This also gives me a little bit of wiggle room and wiggle time to make sure that I have that frame lined up with that background cardstock. I adhered the center piece as well, and I did let this dry for about five minutes before I moved on to some more stamping. Now it was time to stamp the sentiment. I'm going to be using words from that same stamp set as the flower. I chose the happy, and then I'll also be using the for you. The first thing I do was get the happy placed where it would fit with the flower and the frame. And the Y does go over that gold frame just a little bit, but I really didn't want the blue to end up on the gold. So I made sure not to press it too hard, but still get a nice impression on the happy word. Once that was done, I brought in the for you and I lined that up below happy. I did make sure it was straight using the grid of my Misty and it looked good. So I went ahead and inked that up and got it stamped onto the card. Once I had that sentiment stamped, I added adhesive to the back of it and got that placed on the front center of my card base. It was about at this point that I realized I would probably need something on the inside for my personal message. So off camera, I cut another scrap of white cardstock, just a little bit smaller than the white cardstock on the front, so I would have a place on the inside to write. I'm going to be using the same flower that I gold embossed on the front, but I will only be inking up the flower portion of it, and I stamp that off before bringing it to the lower right hand corner of that inside cardstock. Once that was all done, this got adhesive as well and placed in the center of the inside. And here's a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired by Natasha today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go see what she has created. It's linked at the top of the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.